What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because yesterday we showed off Crusadia with the 7th Ascension tech and you guys got to see the full deck profile but in today's video instead of showing you guys a traditional combo video because I think the Crusadia combos are a little bit simplistic so I decided to go online so I can really show you guys what this deck can do. So I'm really excited for that but before we do that make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. Remember here we upload five days a week we do deck profiles, combo videos, duels, product openings all that kind of good stuff vlogs as well so if you guys want to stay tuned and be a part of this banco journey i would really really appreciate it we're on the road to 7k let's make it happen so i don't want to take up too much more of your time though so with that let's get into the video all right let's get into it let's get into it our first duel over here okay doesn't matter that we lost or we want to go second regardless and this hand actually looks kind of not that great we don't even have right here we have our fateful plus our draco back that kind of does suck we have the change of heart though oh we're going into tier elements okay this is a new deck this is a deck that's just coming out in power of the elements so this is going to be potentially competitive potentially meta i know for sure after the ishuzu stuff comes out it's going to be meta in the tcg okay so he is looking like he's playing the ishuzu stuff which is fine he's gonna mill me out uh what do we mill here the arborea would have been our top deck so actually that's not even that bad the really cool thing about this deck is that you can set up the lulu and this card is nuts because it pretty much stops your opponent from the bureauing you and then here we have the kaleido heart which is also a really good wow this deck is actually looking nuts with the issues and stuff i won't even lie to you i can actually just break the entire board at this point because change of heart can take the lulu i can uh potentially depending on what i draw i can just break through the board if i draw another crusadia monster here i'm actually in a really good position so hopefully maybe draw another crusadia monster so at this point okay so he's gonna go ip oh he can probably go if i'm not mistaken this triggers if something leaves the field. Oh, we got another Crusadia. That's really good, actually. And we actually have our Water Enchanter Center Graveyard, which is nice because we do have access to right now. So, okay, I think the first thing we need to do here is activate Change of Heart on the Lulu. I know he's going to want to go into IP here, but... I think taking this is more impactful because we need the right of Artemisia to resolve. We have the Gradarla. Okay, so him, well, us beating this out is perfectly fine because I don't know what he's going to be making. I guess Apollo. If he makes Apollo here, it's it's not the, it's actually not the worst for us. We have a, we have a Gradarla here. Okay, Cross Sheep. Interesting. Interesting that he went to Cross Sheep. Okay, so let's go into this first and add ourselves a right. Guys, this is so good. This deck is just so proper. Like, it can break through these kind of boards. Now, the only thing I have to deal with right now is the Clado Heart here, which is fine. Oh, see, the, this is what I mean. So this would have been fine because I don't even need to use a Kaiju at this point. I guess I could have kaiju but what I would have actually done is gone to the Draco back route to bounce this, maybe kaiju or one of these ones, maybe the Cross Sheep here, and then put it in this zone. And then, yeah, we definitely have OTK. He's only at 7K health because he paid. We would 100% have OTK because we still have two of the Crusadias and we have the token. We'll also have at this point, probably an Illegal Knight and or a Griffin Rider. Guys, you see what I mean? like you can break any meta board with this deck it's kind of crazy even though he had like full setup just the change of heart and the brave package alone is just so strong okay let's go into our next duel because that one was kind of quick i really wish i got to show you guys the full line of how we would do that but you guys can kind of see how we would have broken this board right let's go into the next one all right let's go into our next one right over here okay okay we lost okay let's see if we go first or we go second here hopefully we go second i was gonna say it's it's weird for people to want to go second when we win but i guess we are playing online so who knows what we're playing against if i get to a kaiju here i'm perfectly fine because i know i'm playing against either cracking control or i'm playing against that deck that makes like double toad uh it doesn't really matter oh no we're playing against go oh Oh, I completely forgot about this deck. Yes, this is a new deck for Power of the Elements. I completely forgot about it. Okay, well, I actually have no idea what this deck really does. I actually never got the chance to read any of the cards. So luckily with this deck is we don't really have to read because we're just going to let everything go through anyways. Now, we do have Triple Reclusia here, which is kind of awkward but again we are drawing the sixth card we do have access to right which is really nice here because we have the water enchantress so depending on where he goes with this I can get into okay well that didn't do anything we have the crusadia monster which is really nice so i i'm gonna be honest with you i have no idea what this card is do okay so this is gonna let him synchro summon and this is a level six so he can go into an eight here okay that's fine i think what i'm gonna try to do is i'm just gonna try to bait out anything with the water enchantress here he wants to synchro summon i have no idea what the synchros do either so maybe i should probably read these new cards but regardless i get to the right here I have the Fateful already in my hand, which is kind of, I guess, unfortunate. But because it's in my hand, I'm going to actually activate it first. And then we're going to go right of Artemisia after. Because what's nice here is once I get the token out, and he's going to be able to synchro summon, which is fine. But this card is really nice because as soon as I summon a card, I can pretty much search the Draco back. Which means that when I search the Griffin Rider, it won't matter because I have something to discard essentially, which is really, really nice. And we're going to search the Draco back, of course. If there's a synchro summon target fish monster, you control a card your opponent controls, banish them. Okay, so he banished the token. And then he gets to banish a fish monster from his grave 
graveyard special summon this card. Okay, so he gets to summon it back, and it's only a once per turn effect. Okay, that's fine, I guess. I mean, we still have our Crusadia monsters here, which we can play with. So let's start off by activating our Fateful. The reason we want to do this is because we have triple Crusadia in our hand anyway, so it won't matter. We're going to actually add the Griffin Rider. It's nice because we get to special summon it just for the extra body for our Equimax, which is the most important part, right? So that's a nice thing. Even if you're not getting the negate off of this, you're going to want to summon it because you're at least going to get the Equimax boost, right? So we're going to do that. So yeah, we're going to normal summon our Maximus here. We're going to go ahead and make our Magius. He has four cards in hand. There could very well be a hand trap, but we'll see where it goes from here. We're going to go special summon a Reclusia here. Now, if we had access to power, this would be even way stronger. But let's just go Magius. I don't think we're going to Reclusia here just because we've already used the effect. And oh, it goes through. Okay, we're perfectly fine here. Now, I have no idea what these gaudy cards do. I don't know if he's playing it correctly, but we're in a really good spot here because now... We're going to go into Regulus, and then we're going to have access to a Draco, and then our Regulus is going to activate as well as our Draco, so we'll go Regulus, Chainlink 1, we'll go Draco, Chainlink 2, we're going to add back our Maximus here. Maximus is really nice because if it battles an opponent's monster, you get to double the damage. We also get to search the power, which make any of our Crusadia cards unaffected. So we're like in such a good position here, because now we just make the Equimax, and now Equimax is going to be at 4k, and then we're also going to be able to special summon our Maximus, which makes it 55. We're also going to activate our Maximus effect targeting our equimax so now it's going to do double damage we have our crusadia power in our hand if we need it let's enter our battle phase at this point and i think we're just going to do some big boy damage here we may not be able to otk so we're just going to attack over this 5800 that's not that's not even too bad we're going to main phase two let's set our crusadia power i think this is perfectly fine because we do have a negate with the equimax and we also have the power so let's just pass our turn here I think we're in a really good spot. At the end of the day, we can go Faithful on our next turn to search a water and change for our right of Artemisia. So we're probably fine. This is going to special summon itself back. Doesn't really matter. So I could let this Murray resolve or I could actually just... Uh, maybe we do just negate it. Let's just negate it. I mean, I feel like the draw two is very, very powerful. So let's just negate that. And the really cool thing about Equimax is it negates anything face up on the field. Okay, there we go. So you see what I mean? Like, even if you're not OTKing, you're setting up a decent board. And this is a bad hand, by the way. This is opening triple Leclusia. Honestly, I think I've showed you guys how capable the deck is. I really want to show you guys the seventh Ascension tech. So hopefully in this duel, or I'm just going to keep going until we get to the seventh Ascension. Okay, beautiful. Let's go second here. Let's draw the seventh Ascension. Okay, we did it, but we have a chance at our sixth draw. But we're just going to keep going until we draw seventh Ascension because I really want to show you how powerful it is. Oh my god, this hand, by the way, is insane. This hand is nuts. You have the Reclusia with the power. I, I don't care what he does. We're, we're breaking every single board because we're going to be able to pop a card. We're going to get access to our adventure package here, which means we get to Illegal Knight, which means balance cards he controls. We have a parallel Exceed. Oh my, this... This hand is nuts. This hand is so busted right here. I'm just gonna let him play through his turn because honestly, it doesn't matter. It's not like we can stop him, but it doesn't matter what he does because we're breaking through any board. All right, this is literally and all he's ending on. Oh my god. All right, do you guys really want to see this massacre? Am I gonna have to play this? Okay, so let's just do this. Let's see if he has an Ash. I feel I feel sorry, guys. I know we say pen best deck, but really, okay. So please Ash this. Please just Ash this. It doesn't even matter if you do or you don't. Because Ash does not hurt this deck whatsoever. The really cool thing about this deck is Ash does not matter. You're going to chain block anyways. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Triff, what are you teaching these players, man? Triff, what are you teaching these players? Okay, thank you. Well, now we just win. I hope he scoops it up because we're about to massacre him, to be honest with you. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. A few moments later. Now at this point, we just go into battle phase. And uh, yeah, we have game here. This is why you, you, we wanted to summon these here, by the way, because you can't actually attack with the cards that are pointing to the Equimax, by the way. So that's why you got to do it this way. And we're just going to attack with this. Oh my god, Triff, what are you teaching these players? Triff, I believe in you. You are the penned god, but these penned people, prodigies, are not doing you justice, bro. Like, I feel bad. Oh, where's the 7th Ascension? I want to get to it. I want to get to 7th Ascension. Honestly, I've been sitting here for like 45 minutes. I don't know how long this video is going to be with all the cuts and all the stuff that I'm not going to include. I want to just show you guys that Crusadia Adventure is such a good deck. But at the same time, I just want to draw 7th Ascension for you guys to show you guys how powerful that card is. But I can't draw it. I'm just, it's illegal for me to draw. Oh, Dustro Max. We just need to draw. We drew it. We drew it. We drew 7th Ascension. Ah, we drew an old Okay hand, not the best hand in the world, but an okay hand. And it's playable because we have uh okay, this is fine. You know what? Pay four thousand against uh Crusadia, that's fine. I love when people pay four thousand against Crusadia because that means I can do whatever I want and I'm gonna OTK you no matter what the situation. We have double kaiju here. 
So I don't think it matters what he sets up because no matter what he sets up, I'm gonna kaiju him. I get to special summon a kaiju to my fight at the side of the field as well, which is really strong. So it's really nice because funny enough, I could go Leonis into Magius and then summon the kaiju into the Magius zone and get the Magius effect. So even if we don't draw another Crusadia monster here, we're, we're in such a good position. We also have the Legal Knight, which can be a free special summon for us as well. So this deck is so good, man. This deck is so good. Do whatever you want though, brother. Do whatever you want, Mr. Destro Max. What did you send though? What is this card? Trius Herrera. Herrera. What does this card do? It does not negate anything I want to do, and it may okay. So it just puts other cards under it. Oh, okay. So the whole point is to send more heralds. Ah, smart, smart. That's a cool combo. That's a cool. I I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him. You know what? That's a really cool combo. I'm gonna let him know that's a really cool combo. But again, you still have something from your extra deck on your side of the field, which means anything you send is gonna get Jizukiru'd, and I also have seventh ascension. So thank you very much for that. Doom Tune GT19. Guys, I have no idea what any of these cards do or are, to be honest with you, but it kind of looks like it's popping off. This is really good. This is really good. This is a quick effect, right? So I feel like, okay, well, he's just doing everything in my standby phase anyways. I feel like we have to kaiju something here, but I don't, I don't know what. This is the weirdest combo I've ever seen in my life, but you know what? It's fine. Do we just straight go into 7th Ascension? Let's do it. If this resolves, we're so good. We are so good. He's probably reading it right now because he's like, what the heck is going on? The really cool thing about this deck is if he somehow finds a way to play around this or negates it, it's XL deck, neat. Ah, oh, you thought so, Mr. Destro Max. We're gonna add this to our hand. You know what this is gonna do for us? It's gonna put up a negate and it's gonna half his life points. We still have full combo in our hand, by the way. And he's gonna attempt to use IP and we're gonna be able to negate the IP. And there's a 3000 beater right now on the board. I really wanted to resolve it for you guys. That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to resolve this card. All right, let's go rid of our Mijia now. Now it doesn't matter what he does. At this point, it does not matter what he does we're winning the game. We have Umbral Horror on the board. We have our Kaijus. We could honestly just have Kaiju'd him right away, but let's just uh, Umbral Horror this. And this is gonna get negated. His life points is gonna go to half. Oh, unless, does this have a way to negate my card? I don't think it has any way to negate. Does it? Is that a negate? I don't think it's a negate, right? He just flips. Oh, it does negate. That's fine. Oh, we have to waste this negate now. I should have kaijued him earlier though. Let's be honest. I should have kaijued him because I knew that was going to happen. I knew I wasn't reading cards and I was like, you know what? Maybe we should kaiju him first. Doesn't matter. Okay. He negated this. That's fine. It's still 3k beater. It's not destroyed yet. He's going to resolve IP Mask Arena. Phoenix? Sure. Oh, you dirty little boy. I see what you want to do. That's fine. That's not even the worst thing in the world. He's going to pop this. Nice. You, you little... You dirty little boy, you. Okay, that's fine. Let's go straight into our legal night, actually. Okay, I feel like I should read these cards, but I'm just not going to. So, uh, what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna go Kaiju. We're gonna special our own Kaiju. Okay, I think we just have to go into battle phase. I got to show you this. This is really all I care about. I got to show you something that's a really cool combo. So let's attack into the Dusex. This is my biggest problem, I believe, right now, the Dusex. See, this is why we need to read our cards. This is why we need to read our cards. We'll go Umbra Holder into this, the Phoenix, so he can't Link Climb later. We're gonna go this into this. We're gonna go main phase two here. We have the Illegal Knight, which could be really good for us. So I'm actually thinking I'm just gonna keep my board in this state. The reason I think Illegal I just, I just think really Illegal Knight is really powerful at this point, and it's all we need. The big bodies are really powerful as well. Until he commits something that's really relevant, I don't think these cards are relevant right now. It's cool because I'm gonna for sure gonna be able to bounce back the Jizukiru to my hand, and whatever else he puts on the board, I'm probably gonna bounce back right away. Because he has a lot of cards in his hand, but keep in mind, a lot of these cards are level 9 monsters. So unless he has a ritual spell cards for the ritual monsters, I don't think he actually has a way to do anything with all these level 9s in his hand. So it doesn't really matter that he has all these cards in his hand. Like they look, It looks like he has so much advantage on us, but it's just a bunch of brick monsters that he can't play this i think is really a good point to actually just go one and two because i think he needs that to resolve to do anything we'll put illegal knight there we have our kaiju back in our hand and he lost his monsters on the board so now it just comes down to does he have this he does but i think he lost a lot of momentum with that so i'm not i'm not too upset with this you know truth be told if i didn't misplay and i just kaiju this one i said i wanted to kaiju it earlier none of this will be happening i just have otk for sure i just need to draw a crusadia monster here or i need to draw i guess a crusadia monster would be the best thing to draw here so he's just passing on these two like this is what i mean he might attack over the token or yeah that's like that's it like what are you gonna do sure that's fine i don't really mind and then i know this card is a problem card now since now i have read my cards i know this is a problem card all i gotta do is just kaiju this right away and the best part about all of this is even though he had to use his negates to out the umbral horror it's still a 3k body on my side of the field what does this card do it's special summon a fusion monster for me extra day but destroying the end phase okay we oh we drew a crusadium monster that's all we needed so he's gonna flip this this is gonna flip this i believe and then this is gonna summon a fusion monster what is he what's What's he summoning here though? I have the Kaiju for no matter what he summons, so it doesn't matter. And he's already activating this effect now. So I don't 
think this actually is a problem anymore for us. Dragoon, okay. Well, he did uh, watch us put this back to our own hand. So yeah, now we have OTK with the Crusadias. We can go to Regulex or we could go, yeah, we'll just go into Regulex. I think we could go into Regulex or uh, we could go straight into Equimax. Actually, I think Equimax does just win us the game here because if I just go Equimax with these, he's gonna be it. Yeah, and then I think I just battle and that should do it. I can attack Jizu, I can attack all the Prediction Princess as well, but we can just attack Jizu to be safe. There you have it. There you have it, folks. There you have it. You see, like this, 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 this is fun. This is fun. Crusadia is fun, and it's meta, and it's cool. I know we didn't play against the most meta deck. Definitely an annoying deck. And definitely if I didn't misplay earlier, we would have had one earlier. But I mean, you guys can see how powerful this deck is. I think it's a really fun deck. I think you guys should try it out yourselves. So that is it for today's video. I hope I got to show you guys what this deck can really do. I mean, if you guys saw in these duels, we pretty much played against combo decks, more control -y decks, and no matter what we played against, you had a win condition. Crusadia is just such a good deck in today's format. I feel like it's very underrepresented and very underrated, especially with the adventurer package, because I think this deck just has so many different ways it can win the game. And it has so many different ways to bait out negates, play through negates, play through disruptions. And then you can just break boards and OTK. And even if you're not OTKing, you can set up your own boards. So I know I've been boosting Crusadia a lot, but if you guys have any suggestions or I mean, you guys saw that in the video, I kind of misplayed a few times. So maybe play it a little bit better than me. But if you guys have any suggestions, and whatnot let me know in the comment section down below that's how we get better together as a community so thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you and with that spanko oh wait wait make sure to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed you guys have to be subscribed or else you guys won't see the daily content and that would suck so make sure you guys are subscribed so yeah with that guys i appreciate you all spanko signing out peace